Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here, and I'm bringing you guys the first ever squad builder that I have for you. Um, I just finished playing some games with them, so I'm going to add in some games and some goals um, and see how you guys like this series, see what you guys got going on. Um, the guys on the bottom of the screen have nothing to do um, with my squad. Um, if you guys are curious, I'll go down there. I got Purple Casillas, uh, Inform Pepe, uh, Nani, Torres, of course, uh, Man of the Match, Sergio Ramos. Uh, Hulk and then I got the man of the match John Moutinho, but uh, that's for a whole nother squad that is nothing to do with this squad So uh, first guy we're gonna go in here. Let's go striker and we got we're gonna go to our 352 formation um, We got the ever so lovely Kareem Benzema So we got Benzema up at striker and he's going to be partnered with um, if you guys had saw before Jibriel Cisse out of the BPL on QPR and uh, Not not really too much of a fan of him um, to say the least but hey uh, you know, you guys will see what happens in the games. Um, I don't personally like playing with him. Um, you know, most people say that he's a really good player, so it's really interesting why um, he didn't really do too well for me. But we're moving on to our camp position, and we got Jeremy Menez on PSG. Uh, man with a couple in form, so he's actually a really good player. A really solid player in the camp position, actually a lot faster than he seems. Um, the 87 pace does come into um, effect as well, and he's got a really nice shot. And at the right mid position, we got Ben Arfa, the five-star Skilla. And, uh, you know, counterparting him at the left mid position, we got Ilya um, from Juventus in Netherlands in the Serie A. And uh, you guys know who's coming right now. We got Giorgio Chiellini uh, coming in at the center back for Juventus. That gives Ilya the nine chem. And, uh, of course, to go with Chiellini in every single squad, you got to have his counterpart, which is Andrea Pirlo. The guy is a genius. The guy passes the ball like a god. And, uh, you know, counterparting him at the other CDM position, we got Mavuba at a Lille in League One. Now, he is actually a very, very, very good player. Um, you know, I loved playing with him um, for the few games that I did. He has, I believe it's probably high, high work rates, but um, it's definitely... You know beneficial because he does very good on the defensive end and he can definitely help you out on the offensive end as well You know he took a couple shots for me. Uh, I don't think any of them actually went in per se um, But still he's a very good player definitely worth the coins that you paid for him at the other center pack position We got Mangala the absolute cheat code the absolute beast from Porto in the Liga Portuguesa um, He is an amazing player. He's on my normal squad um, definitely go out and get him. He is a steal for the amount of coins that he is. Uh, finishing up our center backs, we got Mexes. Now, most of you guys will probably say, why do you have him at the middle center back? He is so slow. True, guys, he is very slow, but he is very strong, and he's got a beast of a header. Now, in order to do that, we wanted to get the chemistry with our goalie, which is Abiati. So we got Abiati in goal. Um, as you guys see, we just hit 99 chemistry, so pretty cool. Um, high risk odd. We got French. We got Serie A. We got League One. Um, we got Italian, and we got a random Netherlands dude, um, Ilya, who's absolutely amazing, 92 pace. And uh, I believe five-star skill, if I'm wrong, um, mark me wrong in that. We got BPL as well. I'm um, showing you guys here that all of them are nine chemistry, um, and the squad works well. The only reason why they are five-star guys is because of my bench. Um, that's just simply how it is. Uh, the bench gives them the five-star. I don't think they would be five-star. Nonetheless, there's no outstanding players. Um, the captain is Pirlo. He's the 87. Um, the, the man in the match Pirlo is definitely worth it. If you guys can go out and get the blue Pirlo, that would be really good as well. But, um, I got the man of the match one. Didn't really want to spend that many coins. He's still just as good, and I'm sure the normal one is just as good as well. Pirlo is not going to be your scorer. He can get in those occasional shots every once in a while, as you're going to see, um, or you would see, but I don't think I'm going to add him in. I'm just going to show goals of my team. Um, so really, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Um, so really... What happens is, you know, he can get those occasional shots in, but really he's almost a catalyst. He's there in the defensive midfield. Um, he's got good defense. If you want to look at the stats right here, um, the in-game stats, his pace is pretty slow. But look at that passing, guys. 95 passing, 88 dribbling. His 73 defending is way more than it should be. Um, it's definitely a great, great guy to have um, in your squad. He is the catalyst. He is the legend. He is the old guy. Um, he's really old. Look, 1979. Uh, what is that? 21. He's almost he's almost like 32 years old, which is really old for soccer. So that's kind of a little ridiculous. But um, you know, I'm gonna go through a little bit of prices after this, guys, um, and also show you a little bit of the goals that I went through. 
uh, or I got rather um, with this team so I'm gonna show you the little bit of the prices I got how much this team's gonna cost you if you're interested in building it and uh, the prices that I bought these guys at were pretty cheap so I'm gonna be able to sell this team back for some more coins that's good marketing guys that's good trading and uh, if you definitely want to build a dynasty on ultimate team that's what you got to do so uh, I'll see you guys on the um, other side and we will show you some goals that I put in with this team as well as we'll show you the price and the breakdown of how much that the team cost so uh, I'll see you guys then all right, guys, here's some goals that we scored with this team. Um, you know, there was nothing really too fancy about it, uh, but they were really good at scoring the actual goals, as you're going to see here. Uh, man, Gala's an absolute beast with the header, guys. Once you find out how much I actually paid for him at the end of this video, you guys are probably going to go and his uh, price might go up a little bit just because so many people are going to be flooding the market. I'm just completely kidding, guys. But um, he's, an, he's an absolute beast player. Um, definitely worth the amount of coins that I paid for him. As you see, Benzema with the nice header there. Um, I'm usually, I usually try to shy away from the crosses just because um, you know of the... I don't know. We can call it a handicap, I guess, even though I don't really like that word. Uh, but the handicap that the defense has because the computer takes control of the player and they just really don't have that good of positioning. So it's not really entirely fair. I guess you could call that sweaty uh, when you cross the ball. And right there, Cisse puts it in. Um, but there was countless times that you guys don't see on this screen. Um, mainly, I had a problem with his passing, his shooting, um, his work rate, um, his speed, all that type of stuff was fine. His passing, though, lacked a lot. Now, this is just one exception. A uh, pretty nice pass into Benzema right there for a goal. But um, the passing lacked a lot. But as you see right here, Cissé is going to power through the defense right there. Pass it off to Benzema, but Benzema was wide open. There's nothing too special about that pass. But most, most of the time, his passing wasn't that great. Benzema, on the other hand, great player. Um, I bought the upgraded version, the 85 version for you guys. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, not the 84 version. The 85 version is a lot better. Um, doesn't really make that big of a deal. Um, but whatever you guys can afford, I believe the 84 version somewhere around 4K. Um, this one that I bought, I believe, is somewhere around 6, um, which you guys will be seeing in a second right here. Um, so this is just a breakdown of how much the team costs, guys. So we got Benzema up there for 6K, Cissé for 1K, Menez we got for a steal at 750 coins. For all the things that that guy can do, that is a steal of a deal. So Ilya, the 92 pace, I believe he's 5-star skiller. I don't want to go that far and say that, um, but... But the Juventus left mid is only 1,400 coins. Uh, then we got Ben Arfa. Now, you guys might be asking me why is he so expensive. Um, that's because we got him at a right mid position, guys. Because those cars, the right wing, the right mid position, do cost a little bit. So that's going to up his price when you buy him in the right mid. So uh, he is 2,300 coins. We got the man of the match, Pirlo, as you guys would have guessed. The most expensive player, 70,500, which is a steal. They are going for about 80K on the market right now. 75 to 80K. Uh, Mavuba is 43,500. That's going to be the average price for him. He goes for about 44K, um, somewhere around in that vicinity, give or take 2 or 2K here or there. Um, Mangala, 750 coins, guys. 750 coins. That'll be the best 750 coins you guys have ever spent. Now, Mexis, 1,200 coins, not too shabby. Chiellini, we got for an absolute steal as well. Uh, the lowest buy now besides that one, I believe, was somewhere around 4,500 to 5K. Um, so that's a really good deal for me, 3,200. And, of course, Christian Abiati in goal for Milan, uh, 1,100 coins. Um, you know, he usually plays like a beast for everyone else, but for me... Um, he was not really that good. It seemed like he was a little bit slow and a little bit late to react to the balls. But um, other than that, I mean, he made some really good saves. He made, made some really good clutch one-on-ones. And, uh, I mean, that was really good for him. But for a cheap goalkeeper in the Serie A, um, he's definitely worth it. If you have that 4 to 6K range, definitely go for Buffon or definitely go for Cesar. Or Stecklenburg, actually, um, is actually really good as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this first episode of the Squad Builder. Really hope you liked it. Um, please, please, please leave any comments or criticism or whatever you guys what have you um in the comment section below i want to know your feedback guys this is a series for you um not for me um i want you guys to maybe try to build these squads give me some ideas so whatever feedback you have please definitely leave it uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this first episode and uh if you guys did i will be coming out with these more and more often i have some really cool squads that i think you guys will like uh have a little fun before fifa 13 comes out so thanks for watching guys i definitely appreciate it and uh, i'll talk to you later peace